How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today, and as you guys can see, it's another great day for Erling Haaland's, and a great day for you guys as well, because this video is brought to you and sponsored by PlayStation and PS4 tournaments. Today, we're going to talk to you through the process of signing up, the process of playing, and the process of winning prizes, and this is all for completely free via console, via the web. Now in the background right now, you're seeing how to sign up via console. And I'll also show you how to sign up via web, via compete.playstation.com. If you want to go there, you want to sign up, definitely do that. There's all titles available from FIFA to NBA to Mortal Kombat to Soul Calibur to Warface. It's absolutely free to sign up and get involved in the fun. Now, there's three simple steps in order to sign up for the PS4 tournaments on console. You click on the events functions area in your PS4 system. You've seen it all in the background right now. And uh, scroll down to tournaments and select tournaments you'd like to compete in, whether it be Mortal Kombat, whether it be FIFA, whether it be something like NBA 2K. You click the register button and then then the first time you enter the tournaments, you must link your accounts away from the PlayStation Network and your ESL accounts. Um, it's very, very simple, that's very, very simple. If you want to do it via the website, competes.playstation.com, you can see that in the background as well. It's very, very simple. It, it, it literally explains everything on the website. Everything on the website from the ability to sign up the ability to play your games and the ability to get involved in some competitiveness Now this competitiveness isn't a hyper competitive It's a good place to tone your skills and hone your skills like eventually to get better and better and better whilst having fun at the game This is very very important to me and it should be very important to you guys as well Registration is now open for December. Of course this registration is completely free Completely free man. You sign up now and the link is right there in the description below if you do want to sign up to the PlayStation PS4 tournaments series It's right there in the description below lads Make sure you do check it out and make sure that you do enter. I'm actually entered in an open series myself I did fairly well. I didn't do too bad But um, yeah lads if you do want to enter it's all in the description below It's open to players of all abilities. It's Swiss formats and uh, you paired against players of similar ability for maximum enjoyment so again it's different to normal tournament rules. Uh, well, it's not different to normal tournament in terms of Swiss formats, but again, paired of similar ability, it should increase your enjoyment of the game. The Open Series takes place every single month. Qualifying rounds happen every Tuesday and Wednesday. You play in as many qualifiers as you want to earn more awards and level up your game. Like I did say, you can play in as many as possible, and it is all for free. The prizes. You guys won prizes, especially when you enter for free. Uh, the prizes you can win if you play in qualifying. In the first place, $100 and 4,600 FIFA points. And the next one is second and uh, 2,200 FIFA points and it scales down. But if you qualify for a monthly final, it gets even better. The first place gets $400, 2,000, well, 12,000 FIFA points. Jeez, not even 2,000. And uh, a FIFA 21 Champions theme and Avatar. Second gets $300, 12,000 FIFA points. The next one, uh, $200 and 12,000 FIFA points. And fourth gets $100 and 12,000 FIFA points. No participants within this get the FIFA 21 Champions theme and Avatar. So it's really free to sign up. It is. It's free. Completely free to sign up. And you do have fun. I had loads of fun being involved in the Open Series. And I believe you guys will have fun as well. And um, yeah, lads. Make sure you do sign up. Link is in the description below to the PlayStation and PlayStation 4 tournament section. And make sure that you do sign up, lads. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to you. Because you will enjoy it. I generally had a lot, a lot of fun. As he does get a Player of the Month. The Golden Boy for 2020 does get a Player of the Month card for the Bundesliga. And we're going to review it a day. So if you do enjoy you know what to do. Bring that type, smash that like, subscribe to the channel if you are brand new around here. And make sure you hit that notification bell as well if you do subscribe. Because it helps you get all the content right into your, your emails, your, your messages, stuff like that. And if the YouTube sub box is down, it helps you see the video. So Erling Haaland will be the review eat the day. Now, it's not the meta. You guys know the meta on this game. It's not quite meta as supposedly like an Mbappe, for example. He's 90 rated. He's 90 rated. He's got some phenomenal stats, which you will see um, right there. Phenomenal stats. Sensational stats. But um, we're going to review the day. We're going to take a, I don't know, like an alternative approach. Now, normally the approach is, well, I, I always adapt my style to fit player, players in player reviews. Now, you know, in this game, you can't always do that because the meta is so strong. So I'm going to just have fun there. 
fun with Erling Haaland and see what he can bring. I'm going to go into foot champions as well and just test him out in there, see what he brings to that game modes and see if it could be a viable striker. Now, the price right now, I believe, is... 310, 320, uh, give or take 10 key on either console. So you look at that, and kind of in comparison to his other cards, I think it's like half of that. So um, like his, his team of the tournament, for example, I think that's literally half the price of this player of the month. So you look at the card, he's 6 foot 4, he's got a great sight on him, but again, it's not a meta height on this game. You know what I'm saying right there. High to high work race. He's up, he's down, he's all around. So he's going to be very, 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 very difficult to mark on this game. And I do uh, kind of anticipate that. Left foot primarily, three star skills and three star weak parts. Now, I'm not too bothered about the weak foot because inside the area can be deadly with both feet. It's uh, the skill moves um, I'm kind of worried about because four star is so beneficial on this game. I stuck an ancient chem style on him to boost the balance because otherwise... His stats look incredible, man. Uh, he's got 86 acceleration, 94 sprint speed. Uh, he should be very, very fast in this game. And, of course, the engine helps out in the acceleration front and the sprint speed front. Taking his sprint speed to 99, lads. That is incredible. And um, I know he won't feel that fast in game, but that's still absolutely incredible. He's got 93 attack position, 94 finish, 99 shot power, 90 long shots, 89 bullies, 86 penalties. It's got me thinking, team of the season... How cracked is this card going to be come team of the season? That is going to be crazy. He's got 70 vision, not ideal. Uh, 85 short pass, not bad for a striker, especially like a target man type of striker that holds it up and brings others into play. He's got 88 curve on him. The dribbling, 84 agility, he's not going to feel that agile, uh, especially 89 with the engine cam style. It's just not. Uh, but let's see if he does. Uh, 75 balance going on 85. Reactions 93, ball control 87, dribble in 84, and great, great composure at 93. Head accuracy 76, jump 75, but he is 6 for 4, remember that. So he doesn't really need the jump and too, too much. Uh, stamina 84, fantastic for high, high work rates. 97 strength, man. This guy benches. He, he benches, boys. And he's got 88 aggression, and he's got zero traits. Not even outside the foot shot. Not even outside foot shots. Because it says speed dribble, and that's normally what specialities have with the cards. I don't envision him being a speed dribbler. Uh, in terms of the SPC, I think it's like an 85, an 85 with an informer, and an 84 with an informer. And that's like roughly 300,000 coins plus. Um, in terms of tactics now, I'm actually going to play the 4, four, two, four triple 2 And those are tactics. This is the formation, and this is Haaland's rule. Not target man's getting behind, stay forwards, and uh, I don't want him exerting too much in terms of that stamina. So, um, yeah, with Beckham on the left-hand side of the CMs, or CDMs, he's going to be supplying some of the crosses to Erlen Haaland. So, lads, let's see what he's like in game. Let's get in to the gameplay. Haaland again. There we go, boys. I'm 3 one down, but it doesn't matter. Haaland gets his goal. Great finish on his right foot as well. It just so happens to be, I've come against an absolute god tier team in the first match. Ronaldo's and Mbappe is the lots, boys. Uh, but I suppose in champs, that's what uh, you get, right? That's what you get in champs. That's a great finish by Haaland. They're on the volley, back of the net. Mendy. Neymar. Haaland again. Can't do a stop and turn. Take a touch and just hit. Boom, baby! Haaland gets the goal, two, two goals to his name, yeah. 3-2 uh, in the match, two goals to his name, two weak foot goals. What was I saying? Inside the area, it can be deadly on the right foot. Outside the area, not too much. But um, he even had the pace to pull away from the defender there. I was very, very impressed. Marquinhos. He's got position. He's got movement, look at that. He's actually got the ball too. Kaká, Holland again, Holland scores again, he scored like three in three minutes, Erling Holland's player of the month boys is popping off, it's bloody popping off lads, lovely prodded finish with his left that time, he's going for the perfect hat trick, he's already got a hat trick in three minutes right there, Kaká, Holland, space again, he's always actively in space, he goes up against Ramos, he's got the pace to beat him boys, and the chip to finish it. He's done it. He scored four in the first half. And he points at the crowds. He's a potent finisher. You can say that straight away. I've scored all but one chance with him. This guy's actually fuming. He was 3 0 up in this match. Like I said, he's got a god tier squad. He's absolutely fuming, lads. Why are you? Hey, Baracy, great header. 
Hollands. Hollands. Left foot. Oh, the power behind that was nuts. What a save. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Kaka. Hollands. He's got to go ahead. Oh, what a save. Boom. That's what happens when you concede, boys. You go down the other ends. You smash it on Holland's left peg. Let's go, man. The shot power this lad possesses behind his strikes. Crazy. Holland again. Good ball. Come on. That bridge. Oh, you love to see it. Finesse. You love to see that as well, boys. You love to see that as well. Can I go into the camera? Oh, ooh. For you can shush on this game, boys. Naughty, naughty. Go on. Holland through. He's got the cut back there. He doesn't need it, boys. He doesn't need it at all. Is that back to back hat tricks for Holland, too? I think that's seven in two games, boys. Hey, he's a bit of a potent finisher, let me tell you that. I, I, I don't think all these, like, naysayers. Let's say three star, three stars to be, be all and end all. And how stiff he could be in game. Just try him. He could be useful for certain people in this game. Not, not everyone plays a certain specific style of FIFA. People like to have fun. Holland's a fun card if you know how to use him. So have fun. Look at this from there. Ah. So there we have the lads for Erling Holland's. Surprisingly not bad. And I say surprisingly not bad. His stats are amazing. But the other variants of Holland on this game haven't really been that good. This card is a, an amazing finisher. Nine times out of ten, gets a chance, puts it in the back of the net. That's how good he is on this game. He's just a potent finisher. 90 rated already. Just wait till his team of the season. Wait till team of the season. I'm not telling you to wait now on his team of the season. I'm just saying his team of the season will be absolutely cracked. Poor Kaka in there with no contract too. So as for Erling Haaland, he finished the two games with seven goals in for champions. He scored four in the first game, a hat-trick in the second game. I can't fault that at all. He's a potent, potent finisher. In the air, heading's not really viable right now. I, I don't get it. Crosses on this game uh, just don't seem that viable. But from goal kicks, aim it towards this man. He will win it every single time. He is supreme in the air, coming in at 6'4". Hi, hi, work rates. His position was flawless, absolutely flawless. When he was making the right runs, he was making the right runs. Quite obviously. Mike alone comment right there. But um, his positioning was, was flawless at times, and especially his movements. He just never, ever seems to be marked. He always seems to be in space, especially for the pass into him, and then the one-two off someone else. Uh, in my case, it was Neymar. In your case, it could be someone completely different. Could literally be anyone. Uh, but the pros I found with this card was the acceleration is definitely there with cards. His top speed is very, very good too, but his acceleration is good as well. So the top speed is a given. 99 overall with engine camp style. But uh, even his acceleration is flawless. Absolutely flawless. And he does get motoring with his long strides. Because he is 6'4", he's got a lanky frame. And uh, he does get motoring quite easily on this game. His agility balance... Nah, nah, it, it doesn't work with his frame, boys. It's not a good, and he did feel clunky. He did feel clunky, but however, if you do the flick-up system, it doesn't feel that clunky if you're doing the flick-up system instead of trying to turn. Because he turns, like he needs WD-40 in his hinges, and it's been a robot from like the 1980s. He needs, um, needs oiled up, basically. And he's passing. It needs improved, it needs improved. Now he can do the simple passes, from the ones used with a fellow striker or a fellow, well, a cam or a right winger or a left wing beside him. But he can't do the extravagant through balls or um, anything like that. He does lack the vision as well. I'm looking at the vision there. He does lack the vision. Uh, and he lacks the crossing if he's in the wide areas. But again, crossing, it's not viable right now. And long pass is on the low side too. Uh, but overall, this card is a really, really good card. Finishing. Finishing, finishing, finishing. This guy can finish his dinner. He's great in front of goal and finishes like 99% of his chances. It's incredible. And speaking of 99s, shot power, 99. Right foot, left foot, doesn't matter. Equally as powerful and equally as good inside the area. Outside the area with his right foot, it's a different story. The freestyle combo would be in the Vulcan with his card, so just look out for that. So the overall reason for this man, Mr. Erling Haaland, will be in 9.1. Yes, a 9.1 for Mr. Erling Haaland, which is a good rating for the cards. I wasn't expecting him to give him above a 9, but he really did surprise me in the game. Um, just how really, really good he actually was. So 9.1 is definitely fair for the cards. And enjoyment 8.8, .8 because 
Lads, what I want from Strikers at the end of the year is to support the team, score goals. And that is what exactly uh, Erlen Haaland did provide to the team. A value of going is 8.8. .8. Honestly, 340 on the Xbox and PlayStation. Uh, I know it's double the price of his previous cards, but before this came out, they were like 220, 240, 250, and this was only 100k more. It's not a bad price for a 90 rate card, especially with the finishing that Erling Haaland provides. And in terms of mm, meta rating, he does get a 7.8, boys. 7.8. Um, but that's going to be it for the review today. Once again, lads, this video is brought to you by PlayStation and the PS4 tournaments. Massive thank you to them for sponsoring the video. And uh, basically, lads, sign up. Sign up, sign up. It's free to enter. You have loads of fun on the PS4 tournaments. And I would stress you to do that. So that would make me very happy. It would make you very happy. Make everyone very happy. So if you want to be very happy, sign up for PS4 tournaments. Thank you very much for watching the video. Hope you have a great day wherever you are in the world. Like, comment, subscribe, sign up. And I will catch you all next time.